So, the, one of the final items that we really need to hone down over here, as far as responsiveness goes, is these images. And if we look at the final product, we see that at this extended size, there are three in a row, and they're round. Um, and when we get a little narrower, they are um, full width, 100% width, and they're all stacked on top of each other. Well, working mobile first, the full width stacked on top of each other, that's easy. I'm going to go to my CSS, and in, uh, where I don't declare any uh, breakpoint, the media style over there, I am going to target what section is this in? Section 2, and it's an image. Okay, so let me go hashtag section 2 image and easy enough the width is going to be a hundred percent and that theoretically let's go to our working example should do it right yeah cool so that's that's exactly what we're going for now um, in our extent in our uh, wide view we need these things to well obviously not do this we need these guys to be uh, three in a row. Now we may have to apply a float, but I suspect that we could just edit the width and the document flow will take care of it. So let's take our selector that we got here to do 100% width and I'm going to bring it right underneath here in my media at media section and instead of so a third of the page would be about what um, 33.33 percent blah 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 but we uh, but I I'm not gonna go 33 because that's just gonna position them totally next to each other and I, I want them to have a little bit of breathing room because I'm gonna want to space them out so let me give them a width of 30 percent and let's see what we get there ah very cool all of a sudden we got something going on um, let me now give them a little bit of spacing. So if I do margin and I do 1%, mind you, this is going to do a 1% border around this whole thing. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So technically that's going to be 6 plus, three, you know, 3 times 30. So that's 96% of the space should be taken. There you go. You know, thinking about that math, if I were to change this margin to 2, that would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So that means technically these things would sort of be, yeah, just as we expected, they'd be pushed away. So uh, remember, when you add something like margin to something, it's like an invisible border around the entire thing. So it's margin 1% plus 1%. But we're not quite done here yet. Um, we have some, some other elements. Like First off, we need to round these guys out. Um, you know, there's an element called border radius that we're going to use for this. and um, Border radius allows us to do the business of rounding the borders. But there's a bit of a trick to it to make it full border. See, if we do border radius on these guys. Here's a nice little technique to remember. Border rate uh, border radius. We do check this out. 50% and 50% and save it. Look what happens. Ha ha. We have rounded borders. Now I, I we can make a whole video on why this is. Just uh, check out some border radius and you could even do border. You could even Google border radius 50 and 50 and it'll go into detail why this little um, oh, look at this the curious case of border radius 50 percent it'll go into why that works um, but I want to also show you one other effect now if you notice if you look very closely over here these things have a little bit of a halo effect and this is called box shadow pretty cool it actually puts a shadow on the box and you get to put the color of the shadow uh, uh, how far it diffuses this is really small about five probably like four or five pixels I believe between where it starts and where it goes and I'm just gonna give you the quick and dirty way of doing it and of course as always um, if you want to see the details of box 
shadow. You ought to Google it and really dig into the specifications to give you that fine-grained control that you want over here. There's a number of options with it. But let me cut right to it. Um, box dash shadow, and then we'll just go, I want the color to be black. I want it to be zero pixels, the onset to be zero, zero, and I want the diffusion, the distance of that box shadow to be five pixels, okay? So again, um, you ought to say whether it's onset, which means inside, offset, x, y axis, you can get a little description of why that is here, and then the, the blur radius and the spread. So um, here we go very flat nothing happening but once i refresh it ooh ah you know you could do something really disgusting i wouldn't want to do something like this but oh, actually that's not the worst that's you know how about how about this for bad yeah that's a little much <laughs> but you sort of get what box shadow is doing and then you dig around the property and you kind of find out exactly how you want it because if i set it to zero and zero but if you wanted to set it to something other than that you could kind of get it to align specific way that you want you get what i'm saying it's worth investigating but uh the long and short of it is we have our website fully responsive looking good in multiple dimensions it's not done in the sense that it needs some extra bells and whistles to make it look good little uh, some extra CSS styles here and there but overall this is you know 95% ready for prime time